Right, hey lads and lasses, and welcome to Dance Coaching with Dynamite Dave. Today's little video is one that's been requested two or three times. A couple of the other lads have done it. A lot of people have asked me what's in the Dynamite Dave case. So basically, when you go into the pub, what do you actually carry with you? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what's actually in the Dynamite Dave case. Probably not quite the thinking of other dart players because of who I am, and hopefully you'll find this a little bit interesting because it's, I think it reflects the type of person that I am. Right, so let's get on over to the workstation and we'll have a look at that right now. So let's go over there right now. Take three. Right, here we are over at the workstation. So I've got it nice and clear here. Let's get all the bits of the detritus off it. So there we have. That's, this is the, the darts that you see me playing with every virtually every film that I do, which is the um, Scaracity, the BVD Scaracity in gold. Um, what I normally take to the pub would be, or will be these. This is my case, what I use for the pub. Or competitions, whatever I'm doing. And that is the Unicorn. Let's get it the right way up, shall we? The Unicorn um, 3D Pro, Pro Case. Which is, the 3D means that it's a nice deep one. The reason for this is, is what I, is probably the biggest question I ever get asked about my darts. And it's the click system. How do I keep it from bending my click system flights? Well, because you've got a nice big thick 3D case here, providing you don't sit on it of course, it'll keep your um, click systems, two full sets of darts made up, no problem at all, and some spares. Right, so in the top section of my case, which is uh, the first bit. Now I know a lot of the other um, reviewers have done it with different cases and what you can put in different cases. Right, so this is the case and this is my top layer of the case right so top layer made up set of darts these are the veracities in tungsten colour they as you can see have got the click system um, flights and stems on them already made up in the case and as you can see you can shut the case zip the case and it doesn't bend them in any way shape or form right so that is the top layer Sometimes what I'll do is I might have a spare set of darts in there as well, but I sit them the other way. I know this isn't designed for them to sit the other way, but what I do is I put them in underneath here, going that way. So the darts sit. Actually, it's easier for me just to show you, isn't it? So this is what I do with them. I will put the darts in like this. So they're in there. You've got now two fully made up sets of darts with two rigid sets, these are L styles these are the ones that Johnny Cree made for me and Helios printed and as you can see those sit in there absolutely perfect, now those are my two sets of darts, so that's the top layer and this just to prove it to you there, two fully made up sets of darts with the click system and the L style already on them no damage whatsoever. Then what we do is we move to the middle section. Middle section, and uh, for demonstration purposes more than anything, because I haven't actually got any black one and white ones, is there we go, some spare click systems in the box inside. Now, on top of that, what I always carry with me is some darts for the opponent. Because there's nothing worse than getting to the pub Deciding to have a game with darts with somebody and having to share the darts. Now, my local pubs, obviously, as everybody will know, I've put dart boards in, I've put darts in, I've given old darts that a lot of them have got a Tupperware box full of darts in the different pubs that I actually go in. But every now and again, I'll go to somewhere where I've not been for a while or I've not been before, and I might decide to have a game. Somebody will see you and they'll say, Oh, can I have a game with you, mate? And well, inevitably, it means you're sharing a set of darts. So rather than do that, I always put a spare set of darts in the second section, along with the click system spares. And in here is my magic piece of equipment, and it's this. It's a tiny little, either what some people call it a jeweler's file, I call it a nail file, because I pinched it off my missus about 15 years ago. And that's what I use to sharpen my darts. It's got a rough side, and it's got a, it's got a really rough side, and it's got a nice smooth side for finishing off. And that I find works better than any dart sharpener I've ever used. So that's the centre section. So what we'll do is, as you've seen it go out, you can see it all go back in again, and it all fits in 
nice and neatly into there and just push that in, pull it closed, pull the zip round and as you can see it's under no tension or anything, it's not stuffed in or out like that, not over, over packed. And then what we do is we come to the bottom section and this again is just the Dynamite Dave way of thinking. In here I've got loads of spares. I've got loads of spares so if anybody's playing with playing with their own set of darts and they come to some form of grief as in a snapped in stem or um, even a broken stem or they've robin hooded and they've chipped the side off one of the stems or they've destroyed the flights I always carry two or three, there's only two in there but normally I carry two, three or up to five different sets of stems and obviously the flights always carry the Dynamite Dave flights because it's a, a little bit of a plug as well as helping someone out and you'd be surprised how far that goes and last but not least the absolutely obligatory mandatory um, non-negotiable part of it which is the beer vouchers you've got to have some beer vouchers in your case haven't you just in case right so that is the dynamite dave case that's what i take with me the only piece of equipment that is missing out of this case at the moment and it's because i gave it away a couple of weeks ago and I shall just make myself another one, it'll take me five minutes to make one before I actually go for my first visit in the pub and that is my measuring string you'll have seen that in some of the old videos and it's where I can measure the height of the bull to the floor the hockey length and I can also measure the bull to hockey which is the most important one, the bull to hockey length and that is usually coiled up in the centre section with my file and my spares right, so that is the Dynamite Dave case the Unicorn 3D It'll hold two, three sets of, uh, of darts with um, solid flights on them. So L style or click system. And it'll cl carry them quite nice and easily without damaging them. So that is the Dynamite Dave case. Right, I hope you enjoyed that little video there. Like I say, only a few minutes long. But it's just something that people have been requesting me to do. Something that I actually had the time to do. Which, is, which makes a change at the moment. I'm just like bouncing from one thing to another. So that gives you a little bit of an insight into what's in the Dynamite Dave case and the way, the attitude and everything that I go to the pub with. I'm there, I'm not there to um, play somebody darts and try and get every advantage I can out of them because like I say, if something happens to their darts, they can use a set of my darts, I'll help them repair their darts. It's all about, for me, it's all about the game and it's all about making everybody a better dart player. And I think sometimes if you just show that little bit of kindness, that little bit of consideration and that little bit of generosity, it just takes you a long way in life. I really think it does. Right, so thanks for watching. Don't forget, lads and lasses, you'll only ever get out of this game what you're prepared to put in. And always, 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 till to the hockey!